Okay, uh, welcome to the video lads. So um, this is the second video in the series and in this video I want to just kind of give an overview of um, what my training is going to look like uh, for the next couple of weeks. So it probably will change um, over the next 13 weeks. I'm one week down now in the, in the diet. Um, but just for now what I'm going to be doing and this isn't necessarily going to suit everyone but um, I just want to give a rough idea of what I'm doing and if someone does want to follow along um, they can. So basically what I'm going to be doing is um, a five day resistance training split um, where I'm going to be doing, uh, today is my first day I'm going to be doing lower body, so legs um, and then tomorrow I'll do push which consists of uh, chest, triceps and shoulders and then I'll do pull which is just back and biceps and then I'll do lower body again and then a full upper body session. Um, so that's what it's going to look like for for the first while anyway, so I'm making sure to train every muscle group at least twice a week. Um, if you're not doing that, you should be doing that. So if you're if you're only training four days a week and you're doing, for example, like uh, legs, then chest and triceps, back and biceps and shoulders or something like that, you're only training every muscle group once a week, um, then you're not getting the most out of your training and you're probably feeling sore every week because you're not training frequently enough either. Um, so a lot of people don't realize that, that if you are feeling soreness in the gym um, after every session then you're doing something wrong there's either uh, something not quite right with your nutrition you're training too hard which is probably the least likely um, or you're not training frequently enough, frequently enough which is probably the, the most likely so um, if you're sore after every session especially in the legs then you're probably not training them often enough so try to do legs at least two or three times a week even though it's it's not the, the funnest thing to train for, for most people. Um, so yeah, so today I'm starting my week off with lower body um, and then I'll go through those five sessions. Okay, um, and another thing I just wanted to mention is um, kind of on the same scheme of what I was saying in the last video is uh, when it comes to training as well, don't put too much pressure on yourself starting off. So especially if you haven't done resistance training in a while or even ever, if you're getting into a new diet, um, and you're starting a new training program, not go in and kill yourself on the first day and go as hard as you possibly can. Just for the first week, just stick your toes in the water, just go in, do a little bit, get over that initial soreness that everyone experiences when you're doing resistance training for the first time in a while. Um, just, just do a bit, work a muscle group um, and get out. So it's super common for people to go, um, go into the gym on their first week again, feel motivated, um, really want to hit it hard and get results and stuff and then they just smash themselves in the first day or two days or week or whatever and then they're so sore and so tired after that that they end up falling off straight away um, so be realistic with your goals know that each individual week is not going to be that important in the long term goal just kind of go in get started get into the routine get over that initial soreness and then build from there so you should always finish strong rather than start strong so for myself personally with this program I'm going to be starting off relatively easy and then as the weeks go on I'm going to be increasing the volume, increasing the intensity as I go. So there's going to be more sets, more exercises, more weight, well not necessarily weight, um, I might get a little bit weaker as the, the, weight, the body weight starts to go down. Um, but yeah, more sets, uh, more volume, more reps, stuff like that, increasing the intensity. So um, just bear that in mind if you're starting a new program, don't go hell for that starting off, take your time um, and just get in a good routine. Um, and then lastly, I just want to talk about specific cardiovascular training. Um, so if you're already at a high level of, of cardiovascular training, you're already running, playing sports, something like that, that's fine, just keep that up. Um, but for myself personally, I'm going from um, basically zero cardiovascular training. From powerlifting training, there's no cardio requirement, you're just doing one rep for the heaviest weight possible. Um, so I'm going to be easing myself into that as well. So I'm going to be doing cardio twice a week starting off. Um, so one just kind of general hit circuit session. Um, I did that on Sunday um, with some core work involved as well. And then on a Tuesday I have a jiu-jitsu class which is um, just uh, grappling and it's fairly, fairly intense cardio. So um, that's going to be my two um, cardio days starting off and that will, as well as the resistance training slowly increase over time. And same story with that, if you're not used to doing cardio training, don't just go out and run 10k or kill yourself on a, a rowing machine or a bike or swimming or something like that. Just ease yourself in, gradually build and uh, feel the, the confidence grow as your, your training increases and your weight starts going down.